to another incredible episode of the Gospel according to Mark. And in today's episode, we're going to see why Jesus was sent away into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. <gasps> oh, shock horror! And to look at this, we're going to first read Mark chapter 1, verses 12 to 13. Immediately the Spirit drove him into the wilderness, and he was there in the wilderness forty days, tempted by Satan, and was with the wild beasts, and the angels ministered to him. And so after his baptism, Jesus was immediately driven out into the wilderness for forty days. Ooh, whoa, that's a long time. The wilderness that Jesus was going to was situated between Jerusalem and the Dead Sea. It was a very dry desert where lots of wild animals lived. Lions and tigers and bears. Oh my! This is a total contrast or opposite to what his baptism was like with the father there saying, this is my son who I am well pleased. Jesus was now all alone and had to face the devil one on one. <laughs> Not quite like that though. <laughs> the Holy Spirit drove or compelled him to depart into the wilderness. Jesus submitted to this as it was the will of God. So why did he have to go into the wilderness? Well Matthew chapter 4 verse 1 says that Jesus was to be tempted by the devil. <gasps> This was to confirm or prove that Jesus was and is the Son of God and that he had power and was able to defeat the devil. Yay! Matthew chapter 4 verses 1 to 11 tells us in more detail how Jesus was tempted and how he defeated Satan. So let's have a look. First temptation. When Jesus had fasted for 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. So Satan came along and said to Jesus, If you are the Son of God, command that these stones become bread. But Jesus answered, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Second temptation. The devil then took Jesus into Jerusalem and put him upon the highest point of the temple and said to him, if you are the Son of God, throw yourself down. And Satan reassured Jesus that angels would come to save him. But Jesus replied, You shall not tempt the Lord your God. Third temptation. The devil then took Jesus on an exceedingly high mountain where he showed them all of the kingdoms of the world and all of their glory. And Satan said to Jesus, all these I will give you, if you fall down and worship me. Once more, Jesus replied, Away with you, Satan. It is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only shall you serve. This meant that Satan left and fled away from Jesus. And then angels came and ministered to Jesus. So, three times Jesus was tempted. And three times he overcame with the word of God. So Jesus spent more than six weeks without eating any food whatsoever. I mean, could you even imagine that, boys and girls? That'd be really tough, because I like the burgers. I do. Anyway, Jesus would have been really, really weak at this point. He would have no strength whatsoever. So the devil came and tempted him to use his power so that he could relieve himself from the humiliation of being the son of God inside a human body. But Jesus defeated Satan, woohoo! And also these temptations, also woohoo! By not giving in to them and always trusting in the Father, which indeed proves that Jesus is and always will be the son of God. Woohoo! Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day that you have blessed us with. Thank you for your love, truth, mercy and grace, Lord. We praise you and glorify you, God, because you are wonderful and all-powerful. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for what we are learning about today, God, about your Son, Jesus Christ, as he was tempted 
by the devil, how he overcame those temptations to prove that he truly is your son, Heavenly Father. We thank you for that and praise you for that. I pray, Heavenly Father, for every single boy and girl that they continue to trust in you more, to trust in who you are and who your son is, Lord. And thank you so much for them. I pray they continue to grow in their love and faith towards you as always, Heavenly Father. We thank you for all that you do and all that you have blessed us with. In Jesus' mighty, mighty name. And everybody says, Amen. Well, boys and girls, that is all we have time for today. But remember, as always, say it with me now. We read God's word. We listen to God's word. And we stay strong in God's word. Good.